All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've uninstalled my um, Sonar Steel Series for my uh, audio controls because, like, that app is really resource hungry and it's like always crash at the randomest moments and it got on my nerves. So, we're back on Voice Meter Banana, which may or may not sound like utter crap right now. So, I do apologize. The main topic of the video today is just to bring your attention to two things really what you should do to make your uh, headphones sound better. Basically, you'll head to this website, type in the type of headphones you have, and then um, let's say we have this kind of headphone. We'll select the type of equalizer app we use. I think the most mainstream one, which is what I'm using right now, is uh, Equalizer APO. So you have graphic or parametric, and you could just go with either of them. And uh, there's an extension called the uh, Peace UI which makes this slightly more usable and user friendly. So in this version, they also included a helpful auto EQ, uh, which again, it's like similar to the website. You just find your headphones and it'll automatically implement an EQ for you. Now again, EQ, depending on like what you like to hear, you have to tweak around the settings. So this is just like a baseline. Every headphone is different. If it doesn't show up on here, you could head towards uh, this list here. It's a pretty extensive list of all the different headphones and audio devices. And if you want to know how to install uh, these two um, programs, you can follow this video here. They also share the link to the list of headphones. And what you see here, this is more for a voice meter banana. I use this to figure out like what EQ I should be using for my microphone, which I end up ditching the idea. And that's the second thing. I want to mention for this video what you should do for your mic in terms of uh, you know EQing and make it sound better simple and straightforward just use this uh, VST plugin follow along this video it will make your bike sound incredibly good in my opinion he has a, a very straightforward video the main reason why I'm suggesting you use um, OBS like plugin to EQ your microphone is because like the voice meter EQ is a bit limited. Look at this. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, six audio bands. I don't think that's enough. If you really want to like get into the nitty gritties, I would say you at least need like 10 bands, maybe 12 bands. I'm not an audio engineer. So uh, my advice could be like taken or just disregarded. What I like about the Reaper, uh, the Reaper VST plugin is that you could actually see visually what you're trying to do. That's the best part for me. With uh, Voice Meter Banana, you do not see anything at the bottom here. You just see the grid and the line. There is no audio waveform. So to summarize, again, this video is meant to address two things. One, how to make your headphones sound better. Two, how to make your microphone sound better. Because I've been struggling with this for at least like two, three days after switching to Voice Meter Banana and I'm genuinely losing my mind. And I hope that you don't. <laughs> All right, have a good day, y'all. Hey, uh, this is Pro's production here. Um, I'm an idiot because I forgot to tell you guys how to keep your um, how to keep your EQ running consistently. Uh, so there's a thing with the uh, Peace UI called the Automation Window, and uh, you're basically like activating the different types of uh, configuration that you want running at the same time. So technically, you could configure your mic here, but it's also visually difficult because like there's no visuals. You're just like pushing sliders. So I don't recommend it doing here. Uh, what I have here is basically my headphones being configured in a way that's like semi enjoyable. I, I'm still trying to figure out how I could convert the Sonar Steel Series preset into um, PCUI. But yeah, just like activate these and you'll have multiple equalizers running at the same time. All right, thank you.